This timeline of quantum mechanics shows the key steps, precursors and contributors to the development of quantum mechanics, quantum field theories and quantum chemistry. Topic: 19th century 1859 Gustav Kirchhoff introduces the concept of a blackbody and proves that its emission spectrum depends only on its temperature. 1860 1900 Ludwig Eduard Boltzmann, James Clerk Maxwell, and others develop the theory of statistical mechanics. Boltzmann argues that entropy is a measure of disorder. 1877 Boltzmann suggests that the energy levels of a physical system could be discrete based on statistical mechanics and mathematical arguments, also produces the first circle diagram representation, or atomic model of a molecule such as an iodine gas molecule in terms of the overlapping terms alpha and beta, later in 1928 called molecular orbitals, of the constituting atoms. 1885 Johann Jakob Balmer discovers a numerical relationship between visible spectral lines of hydrogen, the Balmer series. 1887 Heinrich Hertz discovers the photoelectric effect, shown by Einstein in 1905 to involve quanta of light. 1888 Hertz demonstrates experimentally that electromagnetic waves exist, as predicted by Maxwell. 1888 – Johannes Rydberg modifies the Balmer formula to include all spectral series of lines for the hydrogen atom, producing the Rydberg formula which is employed later by Niels Bohr and others to verify Bohr's first quantum model of the atom. 1895 – Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen discovers X-rays in experiments with electron beams in plasma. 1896 – Antoine-Henri Becquerel accidentally discovers radioactivity while investigating the work of Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, he finds that uranium salts emit radiation that resembled Röntgen's X-rays in their penetrating power. In one experiment, Becquerel wraps a sample of a phosphorescent substance, potassium uranyl sulfate, in photographic plates surrounded by very thick black paper in preparation for an experiment with bright sunlight. Then, to his surprise, the photographic plates are already exposed before the experiment starts, showing a projected image of his sample. 1896–1897 Peter Zeeman first observes the Zeeman splitting effect by applying a magnetic field to light sources. 1896–1897 Marie Curie Becquerel's doctoral student investigates uranium salt samples using a very sensitive electrometer device that was invented 15 years before by her husband and his brother Jacques Curie to measure electrical charge. She discovers that rays emitted by the uranium salt samples make the surrounding air electrically conductive, and measures the emitted rays intensity. In April 1898, through a systematic search of substances, she finds that thorium compounds, like those of uranium, emitted Becquerel rays, thus preceding the work of Frederick Soddy and Ernest Rutherford on the nuclear decay of thorium to radium by three years. 1897 Ivan Borgman demonstrates that X-rays and radioactive materials induce thermoluminescence. 1897 J. J. Thomson's experimentation with cathode rays led him to suggest a fundamental unit more than a 1,000 times smaller than an atom, based on the high charge to mass ratio. He called the particle a corpuscle, but later scientists preferred the term electron. 1899 1903 Ernest Rutherford investigates radioactivity. He coins the terms alpha and beta rays in 1899 to describe the two distinct types of radiation emitted by thorium and uranium salts. Rutherford is joined at McGill University in 1900 by Frederick Soddy and together they discover nuclear transmutation when they find in 1902 that radioactive thorium is converting itself into radium through a process of nuclear decay and a gas later found to be 42 He, they report their interpretation of radioactivity in 1903. Rutherford becomes known as the father of nuclear physics with his nuclear atom model of 1911. Topic: 20th century. Topic: 1900 to 1909. 1900 to explain black body radiation 1862 Max Planck suggests that electromagnetic energy could only be emitted in quantized form i.e. the energy could only be a multiple of an elementary unit e equals h nu where h is Planck's constant and nu is the frequency of the radiation 
1902 to explain the octet rule 1893, Gilbert N. Lewis develops the cubical atom theory in which electrons in the form of dots are positioned at the corner of a cube. Predicts that single, double, or triple bonds result when two atoms are held together by multiple pairs of electrons one pair for each bond located between the two atoms. 1903 Antoine Becquerel, Pierre Curie and Marie Curie share the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics for their work on spontaneous radioactivity. 1904 Richard Abig notes the pattern that the numerical difference between the maximum positive valence, such as plus 6 for H2SO4, and the maximum negative valence, such as minus 2 for H2S, of an element tends to be 8 Abig's rule. 1905 Albert Einstein explains the photoelectric effect reported in 1887 by Heinrich Hertz, i.e. that shining light on certain materials can function to eject electrons from the material. He postulates, as based on Planck's quantum hypothesis 1900, that light itself consists of individual quantum particles photons. 1905 Einstein explains the effects of Brownian motion as caused by the kinetic energy i.e., movement of atoms, which was subsequently, experimentally verified by Jean-Baptiste Perrin, thereby settling the century-long dispute about the validity of John Dalton's atomic theory. 1905 Einstein publishes his special theory of relativity. 1905 Einstein theoretically derives the equivalence of matter and energy. 1907 to 1917 Ernest Rutherford to test his planetary model of 1904, later known as the Rutherford model, he sent a beam of positively charged alpha particles onto a gold foil and noticed that some bounced back, thus showing that an atom has a small-sized positively charged atomic nucleus at its center. However, he received in 1908 the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his investigations into the disintegration of the elements, and the chemistry of radioactive substances, which followed on the work of Marie Curie, not for his planetary model of the atom. He is also widely credited with first splitting the atom in 1917. In 1911 Ernest Rutherford explained the Geiger-Marsden experiment by invoking a nuclear atom model and derived the Rutherford cross-section. 1909 Jeffrey Ingram Taylor demonstrates that interference patterns of light were generated even when the light energy introduced consisted of only one photon. This discovery of the wave-particle duality of matter and energy is fundamental to the later development of quantum field theory. 1909 and 1916 Einstein shows that, if Planck's law of black-body radiation is accepted, the energy quanta must also carry momentum p equals h lambda making them full fledged particles equals topic 1910 to 1919 equals 1911 Lise Meitner and Otto Hahn perform an experiment that shows that the energies of electrons emitted by beta decay had a continuous rather than discrete spectrum this is in apparent contradiction to the law of conservation of energy, as it appeared that energy was lost in the beta decay process. A second problem is that the spin of the nitrogen-14 atom was 1, in contradiction to the Rutherford prediction of 1 half. These anomalies are later explained by the discoveries of the neutrino and the neutron. 1911 Stefan Procopuy performs experiments in which he determines the correct value of electron's magnetic dipole moment, mu b equals 9.27 times 10 minus 21 erg o minus 1. In 1913, he is also able to calculate a theoretical value of the Bohr magneton based on Planck's quantum theory. 1912 Victor Hess discovers the existence of cosmic radiation. 1912 Henri Poincaré publishes an influential mathematical argument in support of the essential nature of energy quanta. 1913 Robert Andrews Millikan publishes the results of his oil drop experiment, in which he precisely determines the electric charge of the electron. Determination of the fundamental unit of electric charge makes it possible to calculate the Avogadro constant which is the number of atoms or molecules in one mole of any substance and thereby to determine the atomic weight of the atoms of each element. 1913 Stefan Procopuy publishes a theoretical paper with the correct value of the electron's magnetic dipole moment mu b. 1913 Niels Bohr obtains theoretically the value of the electron's magnetic dipole moment μb as a consequence of his atom model. 
1913 Johannes Stark and Antonino Lo Cerdo independently discover the shifting and splitting of the spectral lines of atoms and molecules due to the presence of the light source in an external static electric field. 1913 to explain the Rydberg formula 1888, which correctly modeled the light emission spectra of atomic hydrogen, Bohr hypothesizes that negatively charged electrons revolve around a positively charged nucleus at certain fixed quantum distances and that each of these spherical orbits has a specific energy associated with it such that electron movements between orbits requires quantum emissions or absorptions of energy. 1914 James Franck and Gustav Hertz report their experiment on electron collisions with mercury atoms, which provides a new test of Bohr's quantized model of atomic energy levels. 1915 Einstein first presents to the Prussian Academy of Science what are now known as the Einstein field equations. These equations specify how the geometry of space and time is influenced by whatever matter is present, and form the core of Einstein's general theory of relativity. Although this theory is not directly applicable to quantum mechanics, theorists of quantum gravity seek to reconcile them. 1916 Paul Epstein and Carl Schwarzschild, working independently, derive equations for the linear and quadratic Stark effect in hydrogen. 1916 Gilbert N. Lewis conceives the theoretical basis of Lewis dot formulas, diagrams that show the bonding between atoms of a molecule and the lone pairs of electrons that may exist in the molecule. 1916 To account for the Zeeman effect 1896, i.e. that atomic absorption or emission spectral lines change when the light source is subjected to a magnetic field, Arnold Sommerfeld suggests there might be «elliptical orbits» in atoms in addition to spherical orbits. 1918 Sir Ernest Rutherford notices that, when alpha particles are shot into nitrogen gas, his scintillation detectors shows the signatures of hydrogen nuclei. Rutherford determines that the only place this hydrogen could have come from was the nitrogen, and therefore nitrogen must contain hydrogen nuclei. He thus suggests that the hydrogen nucleus, which is known to have an atomic number of one, is an elementary particle, which he decides must be the protons hypothesized by Eugen Goldstein. 1919 Building on the work of Lewis 1916, Irving Langmuir coins the term covalence and postulates that coordinate covalent bonds occur when two electrons of a pair of atoms come from both atoms and are equally shared by them, thus explaining the fundamental nature of chemical bonding and molecular chemistry. Topic 1920 to 1929. 1920 Hendrik Kramers uses Bohr-Sommerfeld quantization to derive formulas for intensities of spectral transitions of the Stark effect. Kramers also includes the effect of fine structure, including corrections for relativistic kinetic energy and coupling between electron spin and orbit. 1921–1922 Frederick Soddy receives the Nobel Prize for 1921 in chemistry one year later, in 1922, "...for his contributions to our knowledge of the chemistry of radioactive substances, and his investigations into the origin and nature of isotopes." He writes in his Nobel Lecture of 1922. The interpretation of radioactivity which was published in 1903 by Sir Ernest Rutherford and myself ascribed the phenomena to the spontaneous disintegration of the atoms of the radio element, whereby a part of the original atom was violently ejected as a radiant particle, and the remainder formed a totally new kind of atom with a distinct chemical and physical character. 1922 – Arthur Compton finds that X-ray wavelengths increase due to scattering of the radiant energy by free electrons. The scattered quanta have less energy than the quanta of the original ray. This discovery, known as the Compton effect or Compton scattering, demonstrates the particle concept of electromagnetic radiation. 1922 – Otto Stern and Walther Gerlach perform the Stern-Gerlach experiment, which detects discrete values of angular momentum for atoms in the ground state passing through an inhomogeneous magnetic field leading to the discovery of the spin of the electron. 1922 – Bohr updates his model of the atom to better explain the properties of the periodic table by assuming that certain numbers of electrons for example 2, 8 and 18 corresponded to stable, closed shells presaging orbital theory. 
1923 Pierre Auger discovers the Auger effect, where filling the inner shell vacancy of an atom is accompanied by the emission of an electron from the same atom. 1923 Louis de Broglie extends wave particle duality to particles, postulating that electrons in motion are associated with waves. He predicts that the wavelengths are given by Planck's constant h divided by the momentum of the mv. Topic p of the electron lambda h mv equals h p. 1923 Gilbert N. Lewis creates the theory of Lewis acids and bases based on the properties of electrons in molecules, defining an acid as accepting an electron lone pair from a base. 1924 Satendra Nath Bose explains Planck's law using a new statistical law that governs bosons, and Einstein generalizes it to predict Bose Einstein condensate. The theory becomes known as Bose Einstein statistics. 1924 Wolfgang Pauli outlines the Pauli exclusion principle, which states that no two identical fermions may occupy the same quantum state simultaneously, a fact that explains many features of the periodic table. 1925 George Uhlenbeck and Samuel Goudsmit postulate the existence of electron spin. 1925 Friedrich Hund outlines Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity which states that when electrons are added successively to an atom as many levels or orbits are singly occupied as possible before any pairing of electrons with opposite spin occurs and made the distinction that the inner electrons in molecules remained in atomic orbitals and only the valence electrons needed to be in molecular orbitals involving both nuclei. 1925 Werner Heisenberg, Max Born, and Pasquale Jordan developed the matrix mechanics formulation of quantum mechanics. 1926 Lewis coins the term photon in a letter to the scientific journal Nature, which he derives from the Greek word for light, phos transliterated phos. 1926 Oscar Klein and Walter Gordon state their relativistic quantum wave equation, later called the Klein Gordon equation. 1926 Enrico Fermi discovers the spin statistics theorem connection. 1926 Paul Dirac introduces Fermi Dirac statistics. 1926 Erwin Schrödinger uses de Broglie's electron wave postulate 1924 to develop a wave equation that represents mathematically the distribution of a charge of an electron distributed through space, being spherically symmetric or prominent in certain directions, i.e. directed valence bonds, which gives the correct values for spectral lines of the hydrogen atom, also introduces the Hamiltonian operator in quantum mechanics. 1926 Paul Epstein reconsiders the linear and quadratic Stark effect from the point of view of the new quantum theory, using the equations of Schrödinger and others. The derived equations for the line intensities are a decided improvement over previous results obtained by Hans Kramers. 1926–1932 John von Neumann lays the mathematical foundations of quantum mechanics in terms of Hermitian operators on Hilbert spaces, subsequently published in 1932 as a basic textbook of quantum mechanics. 1927 Werner Heisenberg formulates the quantum uncertainty principle. 1927 – Max Born develops the Copenhagen interpretation of the probabilistic nature of wavefunctions. 1927 – Born and J. Robert Oppenheimer introduce the Born–Oppenheimer approximation, which allows the quick approximation of the energy and wavefunctions of smaller molecules. 1927 – Walter Heitler and Fritz London introduce the concepts of valence bond theory and apply it to the hydrogen molecule. 1927 – Thomas and Fermi developed the Thomas-Fermi model for a gas in a box. 1927 – Chandrasekhara Venkata Raman studies optical photon scattering by electrons. 1927 – Dirac states his relativistic electron quantum wave equation, the Dirac equation. 1927 – Charles Galton Darwin and Walter Gordon solve the Dirac equation for a Coulomb potential. 1927 – Charles Drummond Ellis along with James Chadwick and colleagues finally established clearly that the beta decay spectrum is in fact continuous and not discrete, posing a problem that will later be solved by theorizing and later discovering the existence of the neutrino. 1927 – Walter Heitler uses Schrödinger's wave equation to show how two hydrogen atom wavefunctions join together, with plus, minus, and exchange terms, to form a covalent bond. 
1927 Robert Mulliken works, in coordination with Hun, to develop a molecular orbital theory where electrons are assigned to states that extend over an entire molecule and, in 1932, introduces many new molecular orbital terminologies, such as sigma bond, pi bond, and delta bond. 1927 Eugene Wigner relates degeneracies of quantum states to irreducible representations of symmetry groups. 1927 Hermann Klaus Hugo Weyl proves in collaboration with his student Fritz Peter a fundamental theorem in harmonic analysis the Peter Weyl theorem relevant to group representations in quantum theory, including the complete reducibility of unitary representations of a compact topological group, introduces the Weyl quantization, and earlier, in 1918, introduces the concept of gauge and a gauge theory. Later in 1935, he introduces and characterizes with Richard Bauer the concept of spinner in n dimensions. 1928 Linus Pauling outlines the nature of the chemical bond, uses Heitler's quantum mechanical covalent bond model to outline the quantum mechanical basis for all types of molecular structure and bonding and suggests that different types of bonds in molecules can become equalized by rapid shifting of electrons, a process called resonance. 1931, such that resonance hybrids contain contributions from the different possible electronic configurations. 1928 Friedrich Hund and Robert S. Mulliken introduce the concept of molecular orbitals. 1928 Born and Vladimir Fock formulate and prove the adiabatic theorem, which states that a physical system shall remain in its instantaneous eigenstate if a given perturbation is acting on it slowly enough and if there is a gap between the eigenvalue and the rest of the Hamiltonian spectrum. 1929 Oscar Klein discovers the Klein paradox. 1929 Oscar Klein and Yoshio Nishina derive the Klein Nishina cross section for high energy photon scattering by electrons. 1929 Sir Neville Mott derives the Mott cross section for the Coulomb scattering of relativistic electrons. 1929 John Leonard Jones introduces the linear combination of atomic orbitals approximation for the calculation of molecular orbitals. 1929 Fritz Houtermans and Robert Discord Atkinson propose that stars release energy by nuclear fusion. Topic 1930 to 1939. 1930 Dirac hypothesizes the existence of the positron. 1930 Dirac's textbook Principles of Quantum Mechanics is published, becoming a standard reference book that is still used today. 1930 Eric Huckel introduces the Huckel molecular orbital method, which expands on orbital theory to determine the energies of orbitals of pi electrons in conjugated hydrocarbon systems. 1930 Fritz London explains van der Waals forces as due to the interacting fluctuating dipole moments between molecules. 1930 Pauli suggests in a famous letter that, in addition to electrons and protons, atoms also contain an extremely light neutral particle which he calls the neutron. He suggests that this neutron is also emitted during beta decay and has simply not yet been observed. Later it is determined that this particle is actually the almost massless neutrino. 1931 John Leonard Jones proposes the Leonard Jones interatomic potential. 1931 Walther Both and Herbert Becker find that if the very energetic alpha particles emitted from polonium fall on certain light elements, specifically beryllium, boron, or lithium, an unusually penetrating radiation is produced. At first this radiation is thought to be gamma radiation, although it is more penetrating than any gamma rays known, and the details of experimental results are very difficult to interpret on this basis. Some scientists begin to hypothesize the possible existence of another fundamental particle. 1931 Eric Huckel redefines the property of aromaticity in a quantum mechanical context by introducing the 4n plus 2 rule, or Huckel's rule, which predicts whether an organic planar ring molecule will have aromatic properties. 1931 Ernst Ruska creates the first electron microscope. 1931 Ernest Lawrence creates the first cyclotron and founds the Radiation Laboratory, later the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. In 1939, he awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the cyclotron. 1932 Irene Joliot Curie and Frederick Joliot showed that if the unknown radiation generated by alpha particles falls on paraffin or any other hydrogen containing compound, it ejects protons of very high energy. 
This is not in itself inconsistent with the proposed gamma-ray nature of the new radiation, but detailed quantitative analysis of the data become increasingly difficult to reconcile with such a hypothesis. 1932 James Chadwick performs a series of experiments showing that the gamma-ray hypothesis for the unknown radiation produced by alpha particles is untenable, and that the new particles must be the neutrons hypothesized by Fermi. 1932 Werner Heisenberg applies perturbation theory to the two-electron problem to show how resonance arising from electron exchange can explain exchange forces. 1932 Mark Oliphant, building upon the nuclear transmutation experiments of Ernest Rutherford done a few years earlier, observes fusion of light nuclei hydrogen isotopes. The steps of the main cycle of nuclear fusion in stars are subsequently worked out by Hans Bethe over the next decade. 1932 Carl D. Anderson experimentally proves the existence of the positron. 1933 Following Chadwick's experiments, Fermi renames Pauli's neutron to neutrino to distinguish it from Chadwick's theory of the much more massive neutron. 1933 Leo Szilard first theorizes the concept of a nuclear chain reaction. He files a patent for his idea of a simple nuclear reactor the following year. 1934 Fermi publishes a very successful model of beta decay in which neutrinos are produced. 1934 Fermi studies the effects of bombarding uranium isotopes with neutrons. 1934 N.N. Semyonov develops the total quantitative chain chemical reaction theory, later the basis of various high technologies using the incineration of gas mixtures. The idea is also used for the description of the nuclear reaction. 1934 Irene Joliot-Curie and Frédéric Joliot-Curie discover artificial radioactivity and are jointly awarded the 1935 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, 1935 Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen describe the EPR paradox which challenges the completeness of quantum mechanics as it was theorized up to that time. Assuming that local realism is valid, they demonstrated that there would need to be hidden parameters to explain how measuring the quantum state of one particle could influence the quantum state of another particle without apparent contact between them. 1935 Schrödinger develops the Schrödinger's cat thought experiment. It illustrates what he saw as the problems of the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics if subatomic particles can be in two contradictory quantum states at once. 1935 Hideki Yukawa formulates his hypothesis of the Yukawa potential and predicts the existence of the pion, stating that such a potential arises from the exchange of a massive scalar field, as it would be found in the field of the pion. Prior to Yukawa's paper, it was believed that the scalar fields of the fundamental forces necessitated massless particles. 1936 Alexandru Proka publishes prior to Hideki Yukawa his relativistic quantum field equations for a massive vector meson of spin 1 as a basis for nuclear forces. 1936 Garrett Birkhoff and John von Neumann introduce quantum logic in an attempt to reconcile the apparent inconsistency of classical, Boolean logic with the Heisenberg uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics as applied, for example, to the measurement of complementary observables in quantum mechanics, such as position and momentum. Current approaches to quantum logic involve noncommutative and non associative many valued logic. 1936 Carl D. Anderson discovers muons while he is studying cosmic radiation. 1937 Hermann Arthur Jan and Edward Teller prove, using group theory, that nonlinear degenerate molecules are unstable. The Jan Teller theorem essentially states that any nonlinear molecule with a degenerate electronic ground state will undergo a geometrical distortion that removes that degeneracy, because the distortion lowers the overall energy of the complex. The latter process is called the Jan Teller effect. This effect was recently considered also in relation to the superconductivity mechanism in YBCO and other high temperature superconductors. The details of the Jan Teller effect are presented with several examples and EPR data in the basic textbook by Abraham and Blini. 1970. 1938 Charles Coulson makes the first accurate calculation of a molecular orbital wavefunction with the hydrogen molecule. 1938 Otto Hahn and his assistant Fritz Strassmann send a manuscript to Naturwissenschaften reporting they have detected the element barium after bombarding uranium with neutrons. Hahn calls this new phenomenon a «bursting» of the uranium nucleus. Simultaneously, Hahn communicates these results to Lise Meitner. 
Meitner, and her nephew Otto Robert Frisch, correctly interpret these results as being a nuclear fission. Frisch confirms this experimentally on 13 January 1939. 1939 Leo Szilard and Fermi discover neutron multiplication in uranium, proving that a chain reaction is indeed possible. Topic 1940 to 1949. 1942 Kan Chong Wang first proposes the use of K electron capture to experimentally detect neutrinos. 1942 A team led by Enrico Fermi creates the first artificial self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction, called Chicago Pile One, in a racket's court below the bleachers of Stagg Field at the University of Chicago on December 2, 1942. 1942 to 1946 J Robert Oppenheimer successfully leads the Manhattan Project predicts quantum tunneling and proposes the Oppenheimer Phillips process in nuclear fusion 1945 the Manhattan Project produces the first nuclear fission explosion on July 16 1945 in the Trinity test in New Mexico 1945 John Archibald Wheeler and Richard Feynman originate Wheeler Feynman absorber theory, an interpretation of electrodynamics that supposes that elementary particles are not self interacting. 1946 Theodor V. Ionescu and Vasile Mihu report the construction of the first hydrogen maser by stimulated emission of radiation in molecular hydrogen. 1947 Willis Lamb and Robert Rutherford measure a small difference in energy between the energy levels 2s1/2 and 2p1/2 of the hydrogen atom known as the Lamb shift. 1947 George Rochester and Clifford Charles Butler publishes two cloud chamber photographs of cosmic ray induced events, one showing what appears to be a neutral particle decaying into two charged pions and one that appears to be a charged particle decaying into a charged pion and something neutral. The estimated mass of the new particles is very rough, about half a proton's mass. More examples of these V particles were slow in coming, and they are soon given the name Kaons. 1948 Sin Itiro Tomonaga and Julian Schwinger independently introduce perturbative renormalization as a method of correcting the original Lagrangian of a quantum field theory so as to eliminate a series of infinite terms that would otherwise result. 1948 Richard Feynman states the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics. 1949 Freeman Dyson determines the equivalence of two formulations of quantum electrodynamics, Feynman's diagrammatic path integral formulation and the operator method developed by Julian Schwinger and Tomonaga. A byproduct of that demonstration is the invention of the Dyson series. Topic. 1950–1959 1951 Clemens C. J. Ruthon and George G. Hall derive the Ruthon–Hall equations, putting rigorous molecular orbital methods on a firm basis. 1951 Edward Teller, physicist and «father of the hydrogen bomb» and Stanislaw Ulam, mathematician, are reported to have written jointly in March 1951 a classified report on hydrodynamic lenses and radiation mirrors", that results in the next step in the Manhattan Project. 1951 and 1952 At the Manhattan Project, the first planned fusion thermonuclear reaction experiment is carried out successfully in the spring of 1951 at Enoetic, based on the work of Edward Teller and Dr. Hans A. Beta. The Los Alamos Laboratory proposes a date in November 1952 for a hydrogen bomb, full-scale test that is apparently carried out. 1951 Felix Bloch and Edward Mills Purcell receive a shared Nobel Prize in Physics for their first observations of the quantum phenomenon of nuclear magnetic resonance previously reported in 1949. Purcell reports his contribution as research in nuclear magnetism, and gives credit to his co-workers such as Herbert S. Gutowski for their NMR contributions, as well as theoretical researchers of nuclear magnetism such as John Hasbrook van Vleck. 1952 Albert W. Overhauser formulates a theory of dynamic nuclear polarization, also known as the Overhauser effect. Other contenders are the subsequent theory of Ionel Solomon reported in 1955 that includes the Solomon equations for the dynamics of coupled spins, and that of R. Kaiser in 1963. 
The general Overhauser effect is first demonstrated experimentally by T. R. Carver and Charles P. Slichter in 1953. 1952 Donald A. Glazer creates the bubble chamber, which allows detection of electrically charged particles by surrounding them by a bubble. Properties of the particles such as momentum can be determined by studying of their helical paths. Glazer receives a Nobel Prize in 1960 for his invention. 1953 Charles H. Towns, collaborating with James P. Gordon, and H. J. Zeiger, builds the first ammonia maser, receives a Nobel Prize in 1964 for his experimental success in producing coherent radiation by atoms and molecules. 1954 Chen Ning Yang and Robert Mills derive a gauge theory for nonabelian groups, leading to the successful formulation of both electroweak unification and quantum chromodynamics. 1955 Ionel Solomon develops the first nuclear magnetic resonance theory of magnetic dipole coupled nuclear spins and of the nuclear Overhauser effect. 1955 and 1956 Murray Gell Mann and Kazuhiko Nishijima independently derive the Gell Mann Nishijima formula, which relates the baryon number, the strangeness, and the isospin of hadrons to the charge, eventually leading to the systematic categorization of hadrons and, ultimately, the quark model of hadron composition. 1956 P. Kuroda predicts that self-sustaining nuclear chain reactions should occur in natural uranium deposits. 1956 Qian Xiang Wu carries out the Wu experiment, which observes parity violation in cobalt-60 decay, showing that parity violation is present in the weak interaction. 1956 Clyde L. Cowan and Frederick Rhinus experimentally prove the existence of the neutrino. 1957 John Bardeen, Leon Cooper and John Robert Schrieffer propose their quantum BCS theory of low-temperature superconductivity, for which they receive a Nobel Prize in 1972. The theory represents superconductivity as a macroscopic quantum coherence phenomenon involving phonon-coupled electron pairs with opposite spin. 1957 William Alfred Fowler, Margaret Burbage, Jeffrey Burbage, and Fred Hoyle, in their 1957 paper Synthesis of the Elements in Stars, show that the abundances of essentially all but the lightest chemical elements can be explained by the process of nucleosynthesis in stars. 1957 Hugh Everett formulates the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which states that every possible quantum outcome is realized in divergent, non-communicating parallel universes in quantum superposition. 1958–1959 Magic Angle Spinning described by Edward Raymond Andrew, A. Bradbury, and R. G. Eads, and independently in 1959 by I. J. Lowe. Topic. 1960–1969 Klaus Johnson performs Young's double-slit experiment 1909 for the first time with particles other than photons by using electrons and with similar results, confirming that massive particles also behaved according to the wave-particle duality that is a fundamental principle of quantum field theory. 1961 Anatole Abragam publishes the fundamental textbook on the quantum theory of nuclear magnetic resonance entitled The Principles of Nuclear Magnetism. 1961 Sheldon Lee Glashow extends the electroweak interaction models developed by Julian Schwinger by including a short range neutral current, the Z underscore O. The resulting symmetry structure that Glashow proposes, SU XU 1, forms the basis of the accepted theory of the electroweak interactions. 1962 Leon M. Lederman, Melvin Schwartz and Jack Steinberger show that more than one type of neutrino exists by detecting interactions of the muon neutrino already hypothesized with the name Neutretto. 1962 Murray Gell Mann and Yuval Naaman independently classified the hadrons according to a system that Gell Mann called the Eightfold Way, and which ultimately led to the quark model 1964 of hadron composition. 1962 Jeffrey Goldstone, Yoichiro Nambu, Abdus Salam, and Steven Weinberg develop what is now known as Goldstone's theorem. If there is a continuous symmetry transformation under which the Lagrangian is invariant, then either the vacuum state is also invariant under the transformation, or there must be spinless particles of zero mass, thereafter called Nambu Goldstone bosons. 
1962 to 1973 Brian David Josephson predicts correctly the quantum tunneling effect involving superconducting currents while he is a PhD student under the supervision of Professor Brian Pippard at the Royal Society Mond Laboratory in Cambridge UK subsequently in 1964 he applies his theory to coupled superconductors the effect is later demonstrated experimentally at Bell Labs in the USA for his important quantum discovery he is awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1973. 1963 Eugene P. Wigner lays the foundation for the theory of symmetries in quantum mechanics as well as for basic research into the structure of the atomic nucleus, makes important contributions to the theory of the atomic nucleus and the elementary particles, particularly through the discovery and application of fundamental symmetry principles. He shares half of his Nobel Prize in Physics with Maria Gopert Mayer and J. Hans D. Jensen. 1963 Maria Gopert Mayer and J. Hans D. Jensen share with Eugene P. Wigner half of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1963, for their discoveries concerning nuclear shell structure theory. 1963 Nikola Kabibo develops the mathematical matrix by which the first two and ultimately three generations of quarks can be predicted. 1964 Murray Gell Mann and George Zweig independently propose the quark model of hadrons, predicting the arbitrarily named up, down, and strange quarks. Gell Mann is credited with coining the term quark, which he found in James Joyce's book Finnegan's Wake. 1964 Francois Englert, Robert Brout, Peter Higgs, Gerald Guralnik, C. R. Hagen, and Tom Kibble postulate that a fundamental quantum field, now called the Higgs field, permeates space and, by way of the Higgs mechanism, provides mass to all the elementary subatomic particles that interact with it. While the Higgs field is postulated to confer mass on quarks and leptons, it represents only a tiny portion of the masses of other subatomic particles, such as protons and neutrons. In these, gluons that bind quarks together confer most of the particle mass. The result is obtained independently by three groups, Francois Englert and Robert Brout, Peter Higgs, working from the ideas of Philip Anderson, and Gerald Guralnik, C. R. Hagen, and Tom Kibble. 1964 Sheldon Lee Glashow and James Bjorken predict the existence of the charm quark. The addition is proposed because it allows for a better description of the weak interaction the mechanism that allows quarks and other particles to decay, equalizes the number of known quarks with the number of known leptons, and implies a mass formula that correctly reproduced the masses of the known mesons. 1964 John Stuart Bell puts forth Bell's theorem, which used testable inequality relations to show the flaws in the earlier einstein podolsky rosen paradox and prove that no physical theory of local hidden variables can ever reproduce all of the predictions of quantum mechanics. This inaugurated the study of quantum entanglement, the phenomenon in which separate particles share the same quantum state despite being at a distance from each other. 1964 Nikolai G. Basov and Alexander M. Prokhorov share the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1964 for, respectively, semiconductor lasers and quantum electronics. They also share the prize with Charles Hard Towns, the inventor of the ammonium maser. 1967 Steven Weinberg and Abdus Salam publish a paper in which he describes Young Mills theory using the SU 2 XU 1 supersymmetry group thereby yielding a mass for the W particle of the weak interaction via spontaneous symmetry breaking. 1968 Stanford University, deep inelastic scattering experiments at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center show that the proton contains much smaller, point-like objects and is therefore not an elementary particle. Physicists at the time are reluctant to identify these objects with quarks, instead calling them partons—a term coined by Richard Feynman. The objects that are observed at SLAC will later be identified as up and down quarks. Nevertheless, parton remains in use as a collective term for the constituents of hadrons quarks, antiquarks, and gluons. The existence of the strange quark is indirectly validated by the SLAC scattering experiments. Not only is it a necessary component of Gell Mann and Zweig's three quark model, but it provides an explanation for the Kaun K and Pion hadrons discovered in cosmic rays in 1947. 
1969–1977 Sir Neville Mott and Philip Warren Anderson publish quantum theories for electrons in non-crystalline solids, such as glasses and amorphous semiconductors, receive in 1977 a Nobel Prize in Physics for their investigations into the electronic structure of magnetic and disordered systems, which allow for the development of electronic switching and memory devices in computers. The prize is shared with John Hasbrook van Vleck for his contributions to the understanding of the behavior of electrons in magnetic solids. He established the fundamentals of the quantum mechanical theory of magnetism and the crystal field theory, chemical bonding in metal complexes, and is regarded as the father of modern magnetism. 1969 and 1970 Theodor V. Ionescu, Radu Parvin and I. C. Bayanu observe and report quantum amplified stimulation of electromagnetic radiation in hot deuterium plasmas in a longitudinal magnetic field, publish a quantum theory of the amplified coherent emission of radio waves and microwaves by focused electron beams coupled to ions in hot plasmas. 1970 Glashow, John Iliopoulos and Luciano Maiani predict the charmed quark that is subsequently found experimentally and share a Nobel Prize for their theoretical prediction. Topic 1971 to 1979. 1971 Martinus J. G. Veltman and Gerardus T. Hooft show that, if the symmetries of Young Mills theory are broken according to the method suggested by Peter Higgs, then Young Mills theory can be renormalized. The renormalization of Young Mills theory predicts the existence of a massless particle, called the gluon, which could explain the nuclear strong force. It also explains how the particles of the weak interaction, the W and Z bosons, obtain their mass via spontaneous symmetry breaking and the Yukawa interaction. 1972 Francis Perrin discovers natural nuclear fission reactors in uranium deposits in Oklo, Gabon, where analysis of isotope ratios demonstrate that self sustaining, nuclear chain reactions have occurred. The conditions under which a natural nuclear reactor could exist were predicted in 1956 by P. Kuroda. 1973 Frank Anthony Vilcek discover the quark asymptotic freedom in the theory of strong interactions, receives the Lorentz Medal in 2002, and the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2004 for his discovery and his subsequent contributions to quantum chromodynamics. 1973 Makoto Kobayashi and Toshihide Maskawa note that the experimental observation of CP violation can be explained if an additional pair of quarks exist. The two new quarks are eventually named top and bottom. 1973 Peter Mansfield formulates the physical theory of nuclear magnetic resonance imaging 1974 Pier Giorgio Merli performs Young's double slit experiment 1909 using a single electron with similar results, confirming the existence of quantum fields for massive particles. 1974 Burton Richter and Samuel Ting, charm quarks are produced almost simultaneously by two teams in November 1974 see November Revolution, one at SLAC under Burton Richter, and one at Brookhaven National Laboratory under Samuel Ting. The charm quarks are observed bound with charm antiquarks and mesons. The two discovering parties independently assign the discovered meson two different symbols, J and Psi, thus, it becomes formally known as the J, Psi meson. The discovery finally convinces the physics community of the quark model's validity. 1975 Martin Lewis Pearl, with his colleagues at the SLAC LBL group, detects the tau in a series of experiments between 1974 and 1977. 1977 Leon Lederman observes the bottom quark with his team at Fermilab. This discovery is a strong indicator of the top quark's existence. Without the top quark, the bottom quark would be without a partner that is required by the mathematics of the theory. 1977 Ilya Prigogine develops non equilibrium, irreversible thermodynamics, and quantum operator theory, especially the time superoperator theory. He is awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1977 for his contributions to non-equilibrium thermodynamics, particularly the theory of dissipative structures
1978 Pyotr Kapitsa observes new phenomena in hot deuterium plasmas excited by very high power microwaves in attempts to obtain controlled thermonuclear fusion reactions in such plasmas placed in longitudinal magnetic fields, using a novel and low cost design of thermonuclear reactor, similar in concept to that reported by Theodor V. Ionescu et al. in 1969. Receives a Nobel Prize for early low temperature physics experiments on helium superfluidity carried out in 1937 at the Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge, UK, and discusses his 1977 thermonuclear reactor results in his Nobel lecture on December 8, 1978. 1979 Kenneth A. Rubinson and co workers, at the Cavendish Laboratory, observe ferromagnetic spin wave resonant excite journals in locally anisotropic, phenopebe metallic glasses and interpret the observations in terms of two magnon dispersion and a spin exchange Hamiltonian, similar in form to that of a Heisenberg ferromagnet. Nineteen eighty to nineteen eighty two Alain Aspect verifies experimentally the quantum entanglement hypothesis. His Bell test experiments provide strong evidence that a quantum event at one location can affect an event at another location without any obvious mechanism for communication between the two locations. 1982–1997 Tokamak Fusion Test Reactor TFTR at PPPL, Princeton, USA, operated since 1982, produces 10.7 MW of controlled fusion power for only 0.21 S in 1994 by using TD nuclear fusion in a tokamak reactor with a toroidal 6T magnetic field for plasma confinement, a 3 MA plasma current and an electron density of 1.0 times 1020 m3 of 13.5 keV. 1983 Carlo Rubbia and Simon van der Meer, at the Super Proton Synchrotron, see unambiguous signals of W particles in January. The actual experiments are called UA1 led by Rubia and UA2 led by Peter Jenny, and are the collaborative effort of many people. Simon van der Meer is the driving force on the use of the accelerator. UA1 and UA2 find the Z particle a few months later, in May 1983. 1983 to 2011 the largest and most powerful experimental nuclear fusion tokamak reactor in the world joint european taurus jet begins operation at culham facility in uk operates with td plasma pulses and has a reported gain factor q of 0.7 in 2009 with an input of 40 megawatts for plasma heating and a 2800 ton iron magnet for confinement in 1997 in a tritium deuterium experiment jet produces 16 megawatts of fusion power, a total of 22 megajoules of fusion, energy and a steady fusion power of 4 megawatts which is maintained for 4 seconds. 1985-2010 The JT-60 Japan Taurus begins operation in 1985 with an experimental DD nuclear fusion tokamak similar to the JET. In 2010 JT-60 holds the record for the highest value of the fusion triple product achieved, 1.77 times 1028 KSM-3 equals 1.53 times 1021 KeV SM-3. JT-60 claims it would have an equivalent energy gain factor Factor, Q of 1.25 if it were operated with a TD plasma instead of the DD plasma, and on May 9, 2006 attains a fusion hold time of 28.6 s in full operation. Moreover, a high power microwave gyrotron construction is completed that is capable of 1.5 MW output for ones, thus meeting the conditions for the planned ITER, large scale nuclear fusion reactor. JT-60 is disassembled in 2010 to be upgraded to a more powerful nuclear fusion reactor, the JT-60SA, by using niobium-titanium superconducting coils for the magnet confining the ultra-hot DD plasma. 1986 Johannes Georg Bednors and Carl Alexander Muller produce unambiguous experimental proof of high temperature superconductivity involving Jan Teller polarons in orthorhombic La 2 copper 8 oxide, YBCO, and other perovskite type oxides. Promptly receive a Nobel Prize in 1987 and deliver their Nobel lecture on December 8, 1987. 
1986 Vladimir Gershanovich Drinfeld introduces the concept of quantum groups as Hoff algebras in his seminal address on quantum theory at the International Congress of Mathematicians, and also connects them to the study of the Young Baxter equation, which is a necessary condition for the solvability of statistical mechanics models. He also generalizes Hoff algebras to quasi Hoff algebras, and introduces the study of Drinfeld twists, which can be used to factorize the R matrix corresponding to the solution of the Young Baxter equation associated with a quasi-triangular Hoff algebra. 1988–1998 Mihai Gavrila discovers in 1988 the new quantum phenomenon of atomic dichotomy in hydrogen and subsequently publishes a book on the atomic structure and decay in high-frequency fields of hydrogen atoms placed in ultra-intense laser fields. 1991 Richard R. Ernst develops two-dimensional nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy for small molecules in solution and is awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1991, "...for his contributions to the development of the methodology of high-resolution nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy." 1977–1995 The top quark is finally observed by a team at Fermilab after an 18-year search. It has a mass much greater than had been previously expected, almost as great as a gold atom. 1995 Eric Cornell, Carl Wieman and Wolfgang Ketterle and co-workers at Jilla create the first pure Bose-Einstein condensate. They do this by cooling a dilute vapor consisting of approximately 2000 rubidium-87 atoms to below 170 Nk using a combination of laser cooling and magnetic evaporative cooling. About four months later, an independent effort led by Wolfgang Ketterle at MIT creates a condensate made of sodium-23. Ketterle's condensate has about a hundred times more atoms, allowing him to obtain several important results such as the observation of quantum mechanical interference between two different condensates. 1998 The Super Kamiokande Japan detector facility reports experimental evidence for neutrino oscillations, implying that at least one neutrino has mass. 1999–2013 NSTX. The National Spherical Torus Experiment at PPPL, Princeton, USA launches a nuclear fusion project on February 12, 1999 for an innovative magnetic fusion device that was constructed by the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory PPPL in collaboration with the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Columbia University, and the University of Washington at Seattle. NSTX is being used to study the physics principles of spherically shaped plasmas. Topic: 21st century. 2000 scientists at European Organization for Nuclear Research CERN publish experimental results in which they claim to have observed indirect evidence of the existence of a quark gluon plasma, which they call a new state of matter. 2001 The Sudbury Neutrino Observatory Canada confirmed the existence of neutrino oscillations. Lena Howe stops a beam of light completely in a Bose-Einstein condensate. 2002 Leonid Vaynerman organizes a meeting at Strasbourg of theoretical physicists and mathematicians focused on quantum group and quantum groupoid applications in quantum theories. The proceedings of the meeting are published in 2003 in a book edited by the meeting organizer. 2003 Sir Anthony James Leggett receives the 2003 Nobel Prize in Physics for pioneering contributions to the quantum theory of superconductors, and superfluids such as helium-3, shared with V. L. Ginsberg and A. A. Abrikasov. 2005 The RHIC accelerator of Brookhaven National Laboratory generates a quark-gluon fluid, perhaps the quark-gluon plasma, 2007 to 2010 Charles Pence Slichter is awarded the National Medal of Science in 2007 for his studies of nuclear magnetic resonance in solids and especially his NMR studies of high temperature superconductors. 2007 to 2010 Alan Aspect, Anton Zeilinger and John Clauser present progress with the resolution of the non-locality aspect of quantum theory and in 2010 are awarded the Wolf Prize in Physics together with Anton Zeilinger and John Clauser. 2009 Aaron D. O'Connell invents the first quantum machine, applying quantum mechanics to a macroscopic object just large enough to be seen by the naked eye, which is able to vibrate a small amount and large amount simultaneously. 
2011 Zachary Dutton demonstrates how photons can coexist in superconductors. Direct observation of coherent population trapping in a superconducting artificial atom. 2014 Scientists transfer data by quantum teleportation over a distance of 10 feet with 0% error rate, a vital step towards a quantum Internet. See also <laughs> <laughs>